Ciao, Bello. I had a feeling you were no ordinary kid, but I never expected to meet you here. It's a trivial matter. Everything is trivial in this part of the business, reward or no reward. The reason for kidnapping someone or for blocking your path here. But if some audacious behavior helps my brother see again, that's a different story. In all honesty, I don't want to fight. Not you, at any rate. For one, it's a damned hassle. And why should I go out of my way to satisfy an employer who didn't pay me enough? It's not too late. We don't have to fight. Just show me some kindness, and I might change my mind. Thank you. This much? It might even cure him entirely. It's not fair, the way I've been harassing you. You're the only one who's ever been kind to us. I swear on my life as a stalker that your father is safe. My employer promised not to harm him. Go on then. Go to him. Geppetto's waiting. saddens me to see my precious son in a place like this. I wanted you to grow up as a good boy in a peaceful world. And yet, I think all I've taught you is blood and violence. This will be the last time I ask. I promise. Simon has gone completely mad. He's trying to become a god by using a tremendous amount of ergo. I don't know what kind of world he wants to build. Perhaps there's no stopping him. I trust you, my son. And I'm ready for any outcome. But I don't know what you think of me. Speak truthfully. For my sake, was I a trustworthy father to you? <coughs> I see. I didn't do enough to earn your trust. I wasn't a very good father to you. I gave you more loneliness than love. That's my burden to bear. But remember, there is still plenty of time. Once all this is over, we can become a real family. I promise, I will give it back to you. The happy family we once were.
my grave. I sense air go everywhere. I mean, this place is saturated with it. Like what you'd expect from a mountain of dead puppets.